Good morning. So, starting again uh, another week. Working on Snippet Bixie. Um, so, we left it last time. I was kind of stuck. Um, trying to detect um, a good format for the date to be expanded with a date um, placeholder. So there's a default date that I use in the Vala code, um, which is the string f time equivalent um, usage, which is like percent %x, which does um, a short um, date. So in the UK, that would be day day slash month month slash year 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 in in the states it would be the other way around it would be well it would be month month slash day day slash year 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 um and we don't have that in go um so i was trying to work out um how to get the locale and then from there do something to get this uh, library here's um, format date short based on the locale and it's all a bit convoluted because at the moment i don't really need locales um i haven't put anything in for doing translations and stuff like that. Um, I, months ago, I did read an article um, which showed how to do it, and it also showed how to kind of retrofit it, which is kind of what I want to do, I think. I kind of just want to get the bare bones down um, and then retrofit. Um, so I'm a bit, a bit stuck on that. I don't know, because here you see, convert detected locale, local, Detected local to something usable by locales. Yes, that should be locale. Um, but what I really want is just to convert that to a basically a percent x and run it through string f time. Uh, so is there a string f time? library or package rather that would help let's have a quick look uh, string f time i think it is string f time okay well, there's a few competing ones but Top one looks interesting. Recent publish. Some usage. That one's a bit outdated. Not been used. Updated. I mean, it could be just really stable, I suppose. But zero numbers. So have a quick look at this one. So what does it give us? F, string f time new and then stick the pattern in f format time now okay String and time. Okay, so I probably want this rather than the new because I could be passing all kinds of different formats.
Right, okay. Now what have we got? Have we got all this stuff? That looks good. National. There we go. Okay. But does it work? Okay, so let's just double check what we've got here. Then we've got... Oh, okay, I'm not interested in many seconds particularly. That's unlikely to be useful. I'm going to snip it. Um... So, I don't think I really care about performance, so not what we're doing. Yeah, it looks good enough. All right, so um, have we got any quick examples? Uh, okay. Okay, that doesn't really make much sense, but anyway, let's have a look. So, I think I can just get away with this. Format. String of time. Okay. Uh, so, what is the actual... It is that. It's got an inversion, it's just version one, so we're good. All right, well, let's give that a go. Um, right. So I'm probably going to get a shot of all this. I guess. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, right, that's um need to bump up that a bit too much. Why is that not working? Nope. Hmm. Right. Put it up. So we're in the right place because we're making placeholder stuff. So let's do go. Not got. Okay, so now it's noon, and we will do well for this test because we're just doing tests here and then trying to fill in the blanks afterwards. We should be able to do string whoop, string f time format um, and it's going to just be percent x because that's just the date that I want and then we've got a date haven't we dt yep um, and we should potentially get an error uh, so we'll just do is no error Okay. 
So I can get shot. In theory. We'll see how it goes. And of all of that. And then. Yeah. So it's already got rid of all those imports. That's good. I do like how Goland usually helps you. Um, Alright, so we have this is the body we're going to use. We expect the output or whatever that is. In theory, that's going to be for me. Day, day, month, month, year, year. Year, year. Alright, um, now our actual... thing won't work. So we've got it at the moment that basically we're just going to return the body um, and the length of the body as where the cursor is going to end up. So it should fail, but hopefully it'll be failing because we've got a date that we expect in the right format. Let's see. No. So that's the American format. I ain't in that. Cause if I look at It's my lang set. Oh. Yeah, ENGB should be. So it should automatically convert. So how do I do that then? At least I'm getting passing right. That format thing's going to be really useful because I need to use that for backwards compatibility. And it's also just really easy for shorthand specifying dates. It's a well-known format. But how do I convert that to... How do I tell it to use a British locale format? Does it have one? Nope. Yeah, only one even mention a location, not let alone nothing of locale. That's a pain. That is a pain in the butt.
So presumably it doesn't do License is this just in case I need to do anything looking at? MIT, that's good. Okay, uh, specifications. See what I'm looking for? Not. No. It's a bit of a problem, seems to be. Hard coded to American style, basically. There's no locale stuff that I can see. One issue. What's that? Has it had any? Uh, 
Okay, well, I'm kind of at a loss then as to how... how I can actually use this even for my own. Because that is not... It says national though, but why? Does that mean it should work? What was that? What about the uh See, that's ancient, that's... Is it more complete though? Not even sure where the actual implementation is there. It's implementation. So format format string. So you take the string. It's making a slice with length of format. Is it even doing X? Not complete.
here. It's not doing some of the macro things, so that's a no-go. No X. Again. I think. Everything by the location, aware ones, locale, aware ones. Can't use that either. That's a pain. This one does, but it's not correct. I'm kind of stuck. I'm going to have to... I'm going to do it myself, I guess. Well, unless there's some other versions. Look to that one. That one's recent. So again, does it not do... Look how... stuff. Let's find out. Strip time. Okay. Um. Is it format? No. Strip 
F time with a capital S, okay. So str time str F time. What's it taken? <laughs> right, around the other way. Percent X. All oh, right, let's see what this is. Otherwise, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to write something that passes it. And then switches it by locale or something. Yeah, same problem. Month, then day. Ay, ay, ay. That's a pain. Okay, right, so don't think I had any others to test today. That was another one. It doesn't do X. It seems that X is hard to do. And that probably means, what's the other one that's, uh, there's another one I think that's kind of dependent. It's got longer stuff in it. I don't know if it's not, not that. Oh, that's a good point. Well, that's really short. Didn't realize that. Whereas I don't think what's uh... oh, I do have that here. Hmm. Okay. What am I going to do there? Because that's... That's going to be a problem. Well, I think... At the very least, I'll switch back to that version. Because at least I do have access to X there. Got a good, it's got a reasonably complete, even if it is wrong. What am I going to do? This is uh, painful. 
because I don't really want to make it so that you have to add more date-specific formatting. Because there's a quick and easy way around it, you just do uh, what was it? Percent D. Oops. What's going on? Thank you very much. Percent D. Percent. And, oh. Percent M. Percent Y. And then we get the right format, day, month, year. But that's not what we want. And I shouldn't even really be using this in here. This is me just trying to work out what I should be using. And here really I should be using the native date formats in the test. So I should be using uh, well, like 02, 01, 06 there or something and the normal string formatting things. So I'm going to have to do some sort of date workaround thing. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that because we're getting what we want. And then I'm going to start working on getting this bit working as it should and convert it into a date. And then, then we will implement the locale fixy bit for that. Because otherwise, yeah. So, I mean, the other the thing is, though, really, in the test, I should find out what the locale is and confirm the date. So I should really specify a locale. In the test. But then again, it could just be, depends who, who runs the test, gets the right locale, I guess. It's a bit of an impure input, but not wrong. Uh, for the time being, we'll all uh, do the do. So, um, Got to start implementing this so that we can pass out the date. Um, and we have a template for that because I've done it before. Although I will have to 
translate it from Bala. But I believe Okay, yeah, so we've got a couple of things to do. We need to do some level stuff, but that's fine. We could do that later. Let's just uh, save thing. We'll, um, we'll test that later with uh, unit tests, so we won't implement it just yet. But what we need to do is check whether we have any placeholders. So I've got placeholder. Oh, okay, right, right, right. So I'm looking for any kind of placeholder. And as long as we've got one, check to see whether we've got a placeholder followed by the macro. Uh, and the macro being the at symbol in this case. So if I go, let's just mark. Top. Um, there's the placeholder stuff there. Yeah, so the macro is just an at symbol. So we use things like dollar dollar, and then you have to have something like at date or at time or whatever. Um, I'll do that just to make sure we can um, be very specific about what's what. Um, so we're going to need these, effectively. Um, so we can set them up here. They're just going to be constants. Can I do a top level constant? I guess const. Um, placeholder delimiter so I guess constants doesn't work like that then oh Macro. Hey. And what did I call the other one? Delimiter escape. And that should be a double double, I think. Probably the same as here. Because uh, that's that'll get interpreted. Um, but what we're looking for is a single. Um but obviously that gets passed. So um to do so we want to do something like um if body right, is there a contains or anything I have to look at some string things now
strings, 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 strings. Contains. Contains any. What's that? Contains where the string is within the string. Contains ports where there are any Unicode code points in charts are within. Do what? So that's true, that's false, interesting, okay, and that one, <laughs> there's no I in team, how are you I, oh okay, alright so it's looking for any of the characters, okay, don't want that, right, Runes. Uh, okay, don't need that. All right, so we'll just do contains. Strings dot contains. Oops. Uh, placeholder delimiter. And why am I doing parents? Ah. And Strings dot contains body Do you know why I'm doing both? We'll do it anyway, uh, and then we'll. Yeah, I don't actually know why I'm doing both variations. Really, I only need to do this one. But anyway, so go. I don't need to do a concat. I can just do a plus. So we can do that plus. So we're looking for placeholders. So if you find a dollar dollar and that dollar dollar has uh, an ampersand, uh, ampersand and that symbol afterwards, then what we're going to do Gonna pass through and try and get some bits from it. Okay. So we go through it bit by bit. <laughs> Pun not intended there. Um, 
check whether we need to recurse down. Then we do a date. Uh, clipboard. And then cursor. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So if we don't expand the cursor, whatever's been got down here goes into the result. But if we expand the cursor, Cut off set is the result or length. So that's a bug. Because the result hasn't been manipulated yet. Oh no, of course, it's only going to do one at a time. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. We've already got some sort of result. It might be the beginning, but it could also be. Yeah, that's fine. OK, um, well, we've only got the date thing to do at the moment. That's what we're going to concentrate on. So we need to split it and stick it in. Uh, a result and keep adding it. Okay. He says, but that's, am I going to do that here? I guess I am. Yeah, I do need Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we've got a result which equals that to start with. Um and we're going to have should we do the same naming or should we do parts? I think we'll prefer parts with bits. What's if I look at the go? It's got to be some sort of split. There we go. Separator substrings. Okay, so that's fairly simple. I should be able to range over that. Okay. So Do I need to do bits? Not really. Hmm. 
We already know we've got some sort of length because otherwise we wouldn't find a delimiter. So we can just go straight in. And range over them, I think. So we're going to do four, um, call it substring. Actually, isn't it the other way around? Is it index and then substring? Can't remember. Engine strings dot split. Oh. The input body over the placeholder delimiter. And we are going to Yeah, so that's fine. It understands that. And then we're gonna call some sort of function that does the date thing. So On here, we're just passing back a overwritten substring. I guess I could do that. Um, so Let's do expand date. Then we're going to pass in substring and the date. Have we got that? Yeah, dt. Now we're going to make result equal to, oh, I could just do plus equals, can I? So string, I believe. And then here, because we've got to have something, we can return result. And the cursor offset. Just to sort out in a minute. Now, so in here, we're not doing anything about that, are we? Cursor offset comes in. Gets updated there if we need to. But that's the only point. We can do an initial one up here, do we?
That one doesn't count. Right, okay, I don't change it, unless we set it. Start off with a minus one. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because when you do an auto expansion, when you do the selection, the cursor naturally goes to the end if you then take off the selection. So, well, hopefully, I mean, we'll see. See how the ghost stuff works when I eventually get that working. But yeah, okay, so that's fine. So we're going to get a minus one coming in, if I do it properly. And we only set it to the length. If we've got a cursor placeholder. Okay. Interesting. Otherwise, it should be minus one. Okay. Um, so that's wrong there. And in here. Yeah, I'll pass in a piece. Otherwise, we're doing that. Okay, what we'll do then is we will do that right now because I want to make sure I don't get that wrong. So we'll do if expand cursor and we only need to pass in the body don't we so that is substring got a couple of things I need to build already for this test which is not good but hey okay Stick them in. Stick that there. And that should be length of substring. Okay. So we've got a couple of functions to make. So hold on, let's decorate this. 
expand body. Yes, yes, and turns. And for the moment. Okay, so we need expand date. We're just going to take do we call it body or substring? Substring. Uh, substring as a string and date at the time and it's going to return possibly an error I get I expect or not Actually, we'll just if it doesn't expand, it doesn't expand, and we'll um, just leave the substring as it is. So it's just going to return a string. Why is there a dot there? Uh, because there should always be a dot. Okay. Um, so this is where we're going to stick in basically that. But we have to do well. I mean, we have to do way more than that. So we're looking to see whether we've got um, a date and stuff in there. But for the moment, we're just going to return a substring. And then here, we're going to expand cursor, passing in the substring, turn in a bool, and we're going to return what's at the moment shit.cps string. Okay.
that's not going to work, obviously. So expand body, blah, 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 do the thing. Um, and we expect now Okay, so we're going to pass in now. Don't do that. Minus one to the body for the cursor. Now we're going to expect that the offset returned is going to be unchanged. It should be minus one. so that we can handle it later. Okay, good. So we've got past that first set and now we're failing on the date. All right, let's return in date. Cool, that's good. So it's passed out the dollar dollar um, and it's returned the contents. as a dollar as a date so that's good getting closer because we're using dollar dollar as the place as the delimiter is just like discarding that um, and so what's going into the substring is just at date um, and that's what we're getting back um, and we are adding that to the result which starts off as blank so we're getting back at date minus one nil. So let's do more stuff on the date stuff. Uh, he says actually he's run out of time. So I need to go. I need to get on with my day. Um, so let's put a big to do here. Um, to do. Pass pass for at date. Um, and expand. Just do. So, okay, still got plenty of work to do here. Um, at least we have some way of getting st string format times. But we just need to find a way of getting past doing that. I mean, I can test passing that in as the format and so on, but I do need to do um, things like percent %x getting the proper format for the loca locale. So that's going to be interesting. Mm. But this is where we're going to be next time, I think. Just trying to make sure we pass out the correct format um, and testing it. So, okay. Um, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.